from Faith Life Church in New Albany, Ohio. It's time to start your financial revolution. Now on Fixing the Money Thing. I was in Phoenix uh, a few weeks back, and some of these gals we met out there said, hey, we got we to gotta tell you some stories. I said, well, hold on, let me get my phone out. And so this is what they said. Okay, okay um, the Lord was convicting me for years and years and years to get out of debt, and I started watching, fixing the money thing, and I just decided right then and there, no more using charge cards. And um, so it, it would have taken me in the natural probably at least 10 years. And I think I'm being optimistic at that. So anyway, I go on my walks and pray, and one day I'm, I'm a year into this, I found a few fragments. I sold some earrings to oversee my lawn. And then um, mm -hmm. one day I'm on my walk and I have this picture in my head. I was praying in the spirit. I had this picture right here. It was me sitting in a chair and bills floating down. And I was like, cool. is that me or is that the Lord? But it was like, I knew that I knew that I knew uh, something was coming. And so I called Connie, yep. my friend, and I said, I need a witness here. The Lord is going to bring me a boatload of money. I have no clue where it's coming from, but I know that I know that I know. Year and a half, um, six months later, I'm on a business trip to Chicago. I come home. I'm totally exhausted. My dad calls me and said, San, you got a letter from an old company I used to work for in California. And I was like, what do they want? And so he goes, here's the number. So anyway, I called the next morning. And this woman said, well, you, we have been putting money into this fund. There was a window of opportunity. Like for when, people, when I was hired, I came in in that window. And they were putting five. I said, I took all my money out when I left and went to my new company. She goes, no, we have been, you haven't touched this. You haven't put one dime into this. I was like, well, what are we talking about? She goes, well, let's walk you through the website. I'm thinking, oh, maybe I got a couple thousand. I'm, I get to the web, website and it says $94,000. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> they had been putting it in for 20 years, well, 6.5 years, but then all the interest. Wow. Anyway, it's a I was out of debt in a year and a half. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Thank you for being our partners. We appreciate mm -hmm. it. Yeah. A couple of our partners out there in Phoenix, Arizona. So I thought you'd like to see that, but the uh, kingdom is changing lives everywhere with great stories and a lot of fun. People enjoy good stories and good stories have a good ending. <laughs> Amen. All right, so we're going to dig into this. This is probably one of the most um, important aspects of this whole ability to find wealth. Uh, one day I was teaching, and the Lord uh, said to me, he said, you have gold in your backyard. I began to think, well, you know, does that mean I'm my backyard, literally, or what? But later I began to realize what he was saying was that I have everything already in the kingdom, but it's hidden. I have it, but it's hidden. I want you to... Make, write that down somewhere. You already have it, but it's hidden. But you can only run so fast. So we, we know we can't run fast enough. But let's say back in history that you wanted to travel from New York City over to California. Back in history, it would go by ship. I mean, back hundreds of years, you'd go by ship. And it would take you about a year to go down around South America before the Panama Canal. And you'd have to take a ship. It'd take you a long time. Well, then they had the Oregon Trail open up. Of course, you go by land, it'd take four to six months by the Oregon Trail. Now, today it takes three or four hours to fly from New York City to, to across the coast. And who can tell me why? why? Why is that possible to go what well, used to be a year to now three or four hours? Because of a new law, the law of lift. It didn't cancel gravity. It simply superseded it, allowing you to fly there uh, very quickly superseding everything below you, uh, the slow method, you now have a fast method, okay? And that's exactly how the kingdom of God operates. It doesn't cancel the earth curse system. It supersedes it. And so that's what we're going to tap into, how to run faster in the sense with God. We're going to fly over the rough stuff. 
we're going to be able to do things that we would not be able to do by ourselves. But to accomplish that, we have to think different. We've been talking today about thinking different, the possibilities. God told me, Gary, you have a carnal mindset. If you want to reach your goals, if you want to be effective, you've got to think kingdom thoughts. All things are possible in the kingdom. You're not limited by all I have is five loaves and two fish. It doesn't matter what you have, it's who you have. And God with you makes a winning team. Amen. 